Hey guys, this is Project Slammy, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver. And in this episode, we will continue on with the storyline. But first, I just want to show off what we caught in a fastball on my first try. Pretty much three turns. For some, whatever reason, this guy usually gave me more trouble. But we got a female Lapras. Okay, it's level 20. It's always going to be level 20. Now, if you happen to kill it, you can always get it um, the next Friday at night. It comes back every Friday night. But I can't guarantee it's going to be a male or female. But you can only catch one. That's the thing. So after you catch it, it's not going to appear anymore. And, um, which I think is kind of weird. I mean, how the hell does it... Ooh, I'm sorry. That's a red Gyarados. Maybe we'll look at that, too. But let's just look at the... It has Growl, Sing, Mist, Body Slam. And it's, you know, it's stuff that ain't that bad for a level 20. I mean, its defense is going to be pretty good. Obviously, its speed isn't going to be that great. But... It doesn't look too bad, though. Lapras is a pretty good Pokemon to use. I mean, I was really going to use him, but I feel like Lapras is used a lot, and I use Lapras a lot. Like, he's one of those uh, Pokemon I just use, because I really love Lapras, and Gyarados is another one of those. And Rattata, no one likes you. And, uh, d wait, shit. Another fucker. Okay. Sir Gyarados. Gyarados. Red Gyarados is pretty good. By the way, shiny Pokemon are just a little bit better than um, their regular. So our actually our Venonat is at the top percentage of Venonats of its level. So, shit, did I heal? Let's see, let's see, did I heal? Yes, I did. Okay, let's head back into the underground tunnel. Take a nice little stroll. Actually, I went into the department store before, and it's funny because everyone's... It's funny because everyone's like, Ooh, I like the shop. It's like, yo, Team Rocket is heisting your fucking city. Like, this is a terrorist attack, pretty much. And you're just all excited over, you know, friggin' going shopping. Are you kidding me? Like, you can't even get anywhere. You can't even get a haircut in this town. Like, and you and you want to go shopping. You see, they should have taken over the department store, too. I mean, if they were going to take over Goldenrod, they should have just done the whole thing. And I'm just going to show this one fight. That way, I don't have to show every fight. Because, you know, once in a while, it's good to show a battle, you know? I don't want it to just be cut, 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 cut. I mean, at least so, you know, we can see some action... And it's not all me doing puzzles and, you know, speeding through dialogue, being like, blah, 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 like I always do. Because honestly, like, I, I mean, anyone, I'm going to assume anyone who's seen this Let's Play has played the game before. But you guys know what they say. They all say the same shit. I'm not going to read every single thing they say. So let's beat all these, um, rockets, and then I'll show you what's going on with, uh, what's going on the wall back there those big blue boxes i'll meet you guys after this battle okay guys we are back and i just defeated all these rockets now you see how there's three boxes and we have three little entrances down here now here's how you're gonna get through it this is how just to blast through it okay you're gonna want to hit them exactly in this order okay i'm gonna go fight this guy i'll be right back cool and then you're gonna wanna oh wait no it's left center right that's what it is so you wanna go to the left center and then right so you're basically wanna gonna wanna do three two one what the hell are you doing See? And let's fight this guy. Nice. So now let's grab this. I forgot what this is. I'm sorry that um, I actually looked up the stuff. I would have just done it blind because I can't... I, I don't have a good memory as I've said probably like 8 million times. But, you know, I really just wanted to get through this because it's not a difficult puzzle and I'm just going to be sitting there and clicking it a million times. And here's the thing, if you click it wrong once, you have to leave the room. So if you do one wrong thing, you have to leave the room to reset it. 
And uh, we're gonna fight her because she looks different. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, fuck it. I'm just gonna tackle this guy into the ground. You know what? Fuck it. No, I'm too lazy. Uh, my rats are annoying the shit out of me right now. They're just. Because whenever they hear me commentate, they just want to be all up in the action and be like. By the way, like they're caged, guys. Okay, I don't have them running around loose. They're not wild rats. Like I mentioned, I got three pet rats. Because Luigi, my gerbil, he passed away about maybe like two or three months ago now. And they're so sweet though. I mean, but the thing is, they know how to open up the tank and that's what they're trying to do right now. But I have a weight on it and they're pissed. So they're like trying to bite the top of the cage to open it up. And they keep telling them not to, Mr. Zigzag. Yeah, their names are Ziggy, Eddie, and Jericho. If you guys are wondering. And Ziggy is a little troublemaker that keeps trying to open up the cage, Zigzag. Ziggy, stop it. I don't know if you guys can even hear that, but if you hear like a banging of like a cage... That's them. They're just cray. Guys, come on now. Stop it. Ziggy! Stop. Oh my god. This is not going to be an episode where I just yell at my rats all the time. Okay, you know what? I'll let you out in a minute. Hold on. Hey. Yeah, because I have them in a tank. Let's see what that opens up. I'm curious. I'm gonna open up anything down there. Um, okay. Oh, I guess it just opens up this door. Alright. Oh my god, Ziggy, I swear to god. Okay, let's switch our Pokemon. Let's see who needs. Obsidian really needs to. You know, I like keeping all my Pokemon around the same level. So yeah, let's just take a stroll. We'll blast through these people. You're not going any farther. I don't show mercy to my enemies. Not even brats. Okay, okay, you and your Ratatatas, let's go. Let's go, bitch. The top notch of the Ratatata trainers. Look at this guy. He's gonna be that guy if the Raticate. Team Rocket is really getting desperate, right? They actually gave this guy a Raticate. That's when you know that, that Team Rocket's getting serious. Really serious. They don't want want me to get the director. For some reason, that's going to save the town somehow. Even though their boss is somewhere. Who knows where Giovanni is? He doesn't appear in this game. Spoilers. Okay, whatever. I'm going to cut now. Okay. Let's continue. By the way, guys, if you want, if you're wondering where we are, where are we under under Goldenrod? We are under the department store. Go figure. And all the people above us are so happy about Ziggy. I swear to God, they are so happy about shopping. And let me guess, this guy either has Zubat or Ratatata. Let's see his last defense. A Grimer. Ooh, like we haven't seen that before. All right, guys. Cutting. Why does every freaking trainer say yuck at the end of their sentence? Okay, bro. How did you get this far? Maybe because you give all your workers just ratatatas, and I've kind of been fighting them the whole game. I mean, bro, you don't even know. I just caught a lapper's and a fastball after going through like 50 ratatatas. Okay, don't doubt my abilities. I know I look just like Ash Ketchum, but come on now. Don't you don't you see that I am destined to be the Pokemon Master? And that I just shit all over anybody that crosses my path. Any major threat. But then again if I if I fight like a rocket for some reason. It's like a regular trainer, they just shit all over me. I don't really get why. <laughs> but like any gym battle, if you notice, I just shit all over everyone. Except for maybe Whitney. I don't remember how I did fair in that fight. I mean, Faulkner was pretty hard, but I only had, um... Who did I have at the... 
I had uh MVP. Oh shit. Okay, you're a jerk. Like that's a ah ha 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 ha. Sucks to be you, dude. Sucks to be you. And that was your last Pokemon. Why the hell did you do that? What purpose was that gonna serve? I still had six Pokemon left. And I'm poisoned and you still didn't kill me. Okay, that's gonna get annoying really quick, so let's see what I have in my inventory. Nothing, 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 nothing. Ooh. Boom. Wait. Let's heal him up. Why the hell not? I don't think I don't think we have a battle right after this, but but yeah, I think I remember the um, the ending of this little storyline being a little anticlimactic. Director, who? What? You came to rescue me. Thank you. The radio tower. What's happening there? Taken over by Team Rocket? How do you not know that, dude? Take the card key. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Shit. Use that to open the shutters on the third floor. I'm begging you to help. There's no telling what they'll do They, if they control the transmitter. They may even be able to control Pokemon using a special signal. You're only one I can call on. Please save the radio tower and all the Pokemon nationwide. Cool! So apparently radio signals that... Actually, are radio signals, um... How f shit, how far? They go out through the galaxy. Like, the thing is, they don't... Our... Our radio signals, like human radio sing signals, they actually go very far from the Earth. So you're only worried about the nation. What the hell is that about, bro? That's not cool. That's actually pretty lame. That's pretty nasty. Okay, guys. Oh, shit. But yeah, see, we're at the department store. And all the, unbeknownst to all these people, they have terrorists and Team Rocket at the bottom. Are they still? Yeah, they're still all over. Okay, guys, in the next episode, we are going to finish off the storyline once and for all. I guess I brain farted and I forgot about this whole, you know, thing to do on the third floor. Uh oh. Ah. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh no, they took the guy with the quiz and the guy that will give you the master ball. No. Oh no. They left this lady. What did she say? Hello, I'm sorry, but we're not offering any tours today. No, well, no shit. All your people are dead. Alright, guys, let's go. See you guys next.